Here we have set up the solo variant for Lanterns. You set it up just as you would a two-player game, except for a few small changes. Let's take a look at those changes. Only use the dedication tokens for a two-player game. Use only five of each lantern color. Use only 12 leg tiles, excluding the starting tile. Place the start tile with the red facing you. You receive the red lantern to start and the Grandmaster will take the starting lanterns for the other three sides of the starting tile. Now that we've looked at the setup changes, let's take a look at the rule changes. As with the original game, your turn follows the order of exchanging a lantern making a dedication, and placing a leg tile. Use the following rule when placing your tiles. Whenever you place a leg tile, first take your lanterns, then place all of the other lanterns that would be distributed in a four-player game to the Grand Master's Tableau. After you play a tile and distribute lantern cards, check to see if the Grand Master can score. The Grand Master will score according to the following ways. The Grand Master will always take the highest scoring tile possible that his lanterns allow. This includes the possibility of using a pair of favors to exchange a lantern for another color. If there are two or more scoring tiles of equal value, the player may choose which one the Grand Master takes. When using favors to exchange lanterns, the Grand Master will always exchange for a lantern of the color most available to the player. If there is a tie for most available, the player may choose which color lantern the Grand Master returns. Once you've checked scoring for the Grand Master, you may move then to your next turn. Before each play, determine your level of difficulty. This will determine how many favor tokens the Grand Master will take. On the Master level, the Grand Master will never receive any favors. On the Grand Master level, the Grand Master will receive favors whenever you place a platform tile. And on the Emperor level, the Grand Master will receive favor tokens whenever you take a favor token, whether it is by placing a platform or matching upon one. All right, what did I like? There are some really difficult choices. Each time you lay a tile down, you'll have to choose the less of multiple evils. You are essentially feeding your enemy, and you must always find the least painful choice. It makes for a very tight puzzle with little room for error. It also has a quick play to it. It is fast and easy to see if the Grand Master scores a dedication token, and before you know it, you're placing another tile down and checking the Grand Master for scoring again. It has a quick pace to it, and the part that will take the longest is deciding what lanterns to give to the Grand Master, who is quickly outpacing you. What didn't I like? The Grand Master will generally take one specific dedication pile so you will find you have only a few options in terms of strategies to fight against him. This limits the strategies that you have to choose while playing and may lead to less replays as you find the way to beat the Grandmaster looks very similar from game to game. Overall, the variant is a great puzzle that makes you make difficult decisions. You will learn to hate the Grand Master and his efficiency at making dedications. You can play multiple games in one sw sitting by switching out the 12 leg tiles you use, and it is quite fun trying to figure out your best move for each tile. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, I'm Hans, and if you like what you saw, go ahead and click subscribe below, and good things will happen for you forever.